And we return, guys and girls, at the cheapest house this side of the equator. 35 cent rooms, 15 cent beds, no pets allowed. Let's go check out what's going on, the Antonias. Sorry, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Does Mrs. Maldonado live here? Yes, she does. I'm Mrs. Barbara LaPente, the owner of this boarding house. Is there a problem? I'm afraid so, ma'am. Do you mind if we come in? Is there somewhere we can discuss this? Of course. Follow me through to the parlor. Mm, we're gonna go meet... Wipe your feet as you come in, detectives. Okay, we'll if try, we'll try, but we're gonna go meet Barbara in the parlor. Doesn't get much more old-fashioned than this, and more dark. Dude, woman, turn on some lights. Mrs. Maldonado was found dead this morning. Dead? Oh, no. She can't be. I'm afraid she was murdered, ma'am. We need to take a look at her things. I can't believe it. A person seems so alive, and then they're gone. Antonia's room is upstairs, last door on the left. Thank you. We'll be back shortly. Uh, excuse us a moment, ma'am. Rusty, normally don't you sit with the, the, the dude, the woman, to make sure that she doesn't do anything crazy? Let's go upstairs and apparently a very uh, religious person here. What's this? What's going on? What do we got here? What's this? Oh, picture. Are we waiting Sorry, I was looking at the artwork. Goodness. Dining. What else we got here? Apartment upstairs. Storeroom, bathroom, laundry, very good at labeling things. Private, private, okay, fun. oh, flowers. All right, make our way upstairs. Rusty, we're coming, sorry, just checking out the entire place. A little bit dirty in here. Some messed up paperwork. Five to six, one to four, we know she was in five because of the five key. That would be this one. Crime scene time, boys. Did you look at that? Someone's turned the place over. How did Barbara not even notice this? How could Barbara be like, oh yeah, go upstairs and just destroy things? I don't know, I don't pay any attention. Maybe she's deaf. A smashed window explains why the place looks tossed. What about that iron thing that broke the window? You know how I feel about windows, Phelps. You don't like to climb in them, do you, Rusty? Hmm. Mrs. Antonia Isabel Maldonado, Curragera of Parsons Boarding House. Antonia, further to my previous correspondence of August 7th, I am writing to inform you that your petition to the Superior Court of the State of California has been accepted and a court date scheduled. Your case, docket number 98765, will be heard on September 17th. I am told that your husband... Okay, we have an address. Angel or Angel Christopher Maldonado, residing at 304 330 North Hill Street, has been served with the official papers and on notice appear at the Central District Court on the above day. Though it is not essential, and many women in your position choose not to do so, I advise you also appear at the Central District Court on the scheduled date. In my experience, a woman plaintiff's presence in cases like this one can do much to influence proceedings. If your husband does not appear on September 17th, which you've told me is likely, then it can only help our chances. Frederick D. Tattersall. So she was taking her husband to court, probably divorced, is my guess? My guess. Something worse. I don't even know. These people, you never know. Maybe she was petitioning the size of his feet. All right. Anything else in here? Throw that to the ground, Cole. What about this picture? Every every dead woman has pictures in this game. Hmm. Charm bracelet. The charm bracelet wasn't among the crime scene evidence. Hmm. All right. So we got the charm bracelet. We've got the note about court. We've got the broken window. Call, you gonna climb out there? Can we grab the picket? Just get a closer look. Good deal. So someone broke in using this thing instead of a crowbar. Wonder where it was taken from. Hmm. Let's see. Can we go down? Go downstairs. I just want to see if there's like any iron picket things, you know, around the, the property. At the playground! They even had a playground. How sad. Um... Of course we need to go back inside, but I figured we could get a little sand while we're waiting here. Cole, don't get stuck under the ladder. That's dangerous. Alright, so, we'll go back inside. We'll go around the front and go back inside and talk to Barbara. 
scour the perimeter here. Doesn't seem like there's any iron... Iron things around. I don't remember there being a... Yeah, there's no, like, gate on the front. Guess we can take a quick look on this side by the drive. Um... Yeah, weird. So it was clearly taken from somewhere else, most likely. We'll go back inside to the Parsons boarding house and talk to... Deaf and blind and low-lit Barbara. Turn some lights on, woman. My gosh. Alright. We have some questions, ma'am, if you're up to it. Yes, Detective. I'll do my best. Okay, Barbara, tell us about the victim. What time did Antonia go out yesterday? She left around nine. Do you know where she went? No. I, I have no idea. She was a good girl, but she didn't confide in me. Uh, she seems a little bit unsure about that. She looks down, won't look us in the eye. I'm gonna say you're, I'm gonna doubt you a little bit here, woman. A nosy old hag like you knows everything about the people who live under her roof. Where did she go? I think she went to a bar. She's been drinking quite a lot lately. This bar have a name? El Dorado Bar. It's a Latino place on North Los Angeles Street. That's only a couple of blocks from where we found the body. Checkmate, woman. Sorry for calling you a hag, but you're 62 and you don't have any lights. All right, so tell us about the uh, the break-in. You've had a break-in? No. That can't be true. Okay, um, should we say she's lying because of the broken window? I'm guessing. Uh, Leah, you're lying. You're being economical with the truth, Mrs. Lepenti. What do you have to hide? I have no idea what you are talking about. Well, tell us what the broken window is about then, woman. So Antonia lost her keys and used an iron bar to jimmy the back window? I heard a noise in the early hours of the morning. I thought it might be a raccoon at the milk bottles. It'd be very bad for business if this news got out. I have a reputation to protect. So you don't even clean up the room and you're just like, dude, we're just going to leave all the glass everywhere and leave the iron picket and hopefully no one will notice because maybe it was raccoons. Jerk face. Tell us about the breakdown of the marriage. Antonia and her husband were estranged? Yes. She moved here after she separated from her husband two months ago. But Antonia still wore a wedding ring? She wore the wedding ring and a necklace. She always wore a religious necklace. That's about all of her jewelry. Uh, you're lying. Tell us about the charm bracelets. No, you're lying. Don't smirk at me, stupid face. What about her bracelet? I don't know anything about a bracelet. Um, how about the picture? Maybe. See, this is where Eleanor kind of gets a little gray for me because what if, what if Barbara really never saw the bracelet? What if, what if she wore the bracelet in that picture? And I guess it's because it's a game, and so they have to find ways to make you connect things. But like, really, if I'm a detective, maybe Barbara didn't really see the bracelet ever on. Antonia, so how am I supposed to know? I mean, I know this is the right answer here, but just kind of giving you some of my inner thoughts as I'm, as I'm recording here and playing this game. In her wedding photo, she's displaying a charm bracelet. That thing? She never wore it. He gave it to her. She always kept it in that wooden jewelry box. I mean, I guess we get more information. I guess it's like, well, let, let, let's suggest this to her and maybe she'll remember something. So from that standpoint, I guess it's okay. But it, then it's not really like she's lying, per se. It's just, it's a little grave, you know what I'm saying? All right, possible suspects, woman. Do you have any idea who might have wanted to hurt Mrs. Maldonado? That rat of her husband, Angel. She was serving him divorce papers. If I killed every wife to serve me papers, I'd be a mass murderer. Are you being flippant, young man? No, ma'am. I don't think Rusty's very young. I think he's telling the truth here. Because we have the, we sh we've seen the paperwork. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go with the truth, right? What can you tell us about Angel Maldonado? She married him when she was 17. He was cruel to her. Very cruel. She was a good girl. Little on the religious side. But a good girl. Thanks, ma'am. You've been very helpful. Pay a call to that husband of hers. Lock him up and throw away the key. We can either front Angel, seeing as the finger's pointing right at him, or we could check out the Eldorado. 
Well, you know us. Of course we're going to check out that Eldorado bar. We don't put up with just random accusations. Get in the car, Rusty. That lady thought you were young, which is kind of silly. So we're going to the Latino bar and grill here. A nosy old hag? Ah! And I thought I was coming on strong with the XY line. Sometimes you have to be firm to get the information you need. God damn it, ain't that... Rusty's starting to respect us a little bit more, I think. You don't think it's think. strange that all these murders are happening to girls who've been out drinking? No, no. A broad drinks, she gets a bit tight, she starts mouthing off. This leads to that, and she ends up in an alleyway. Sad story, but this town's seen it play out a thousand times. Why don't you want to see a connection here? Because there are perfectly good, real-life suspects for every one of these murders. We don't need to go looking for the monster under the bed. I think Rusty just doesn't want to deal with it. to the divorce angle? I've been through three. No big deal. After a while, you just numb yourself with the experience. But Angel, he's a young Latino man. Who would hurt his sense of who he is? He'd see himself as a failure. A woman taking control over his life? Then she fronts him and he snaps. Works for me. That makes Angel a killer as well as a piece of shit. Hmm. I like Cole's thinking, not Rusty. There's Cola King hiding behind the watermelon billboard. Three in a row of the same. They really want you to buy that delicious watermelon. So go buy some. Here we are. El Dorado Bar, 1.41 p.m. What can I get you? LAPD. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Diego Aguilar. How can I help? You worked the bar last night? Yeah, being a temp guy from the agency. Did you have a woman in here last night, 21 years old, Hispanic, drinking heavily? We have a lot of ladies like that in here. But yeah, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. But what did she do? She was murdered last night. Oh, shit. Do you know her well? Was she a regular? Hell no. She was good and tight last night, complaining about her old man. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. She was so hammered last night, she left a letter on the bar. I'll show you. Let's check it out. Diego. Hmm. Divorce papers? Did you open them? No need to. She was shouting about it and waving the letter around. Said she was going to show him. Hmm. Command that angel. Say aside, blah, blah, blah. You appear in proper. Well, then. I guess we need to ask Diego some questions here. He looks like a young looking 30 year old dude. Tell us about what the victim did. Did Antonia say where she was going when she left? She said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. Said that would take the smile off his face. If you ask me, she was scared. And the drink was for Dutch courage. Hmm, what do you think about this guy? He did that one look away, but I think for the most part he's pretty truthful. He's looking straight at us. I'm going to go with my gut and say he's telling the truth. She attract any interest? An extremely drunk young woman? What do you think? She managed to scare them off, though. Good deal. Tell us about her jewelry. Can you remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace. Some kind of religious thing, I think. The temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. Uh, I'm gonna doubt that one, buddy. Tell us when she left. Where did she go? Give me something or the LAPD will start getting interested in this place. Take it easy. She went to the cab, okay? And my phone was out of order. The closest one I knew was at the fruit market across the street, so I suggested she try there. She seemed reluctant. Thanks. You've been a big help. No problem. Hey. Get the guy, will you? We'll do our best. One last question. What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aguilar? A broad nine. I have white feet. Mm. 
Got to make sure he's not an eight. That would be dangerous. And now we got to go to another place to investigate the fruit market. So I think we could have totally like, shortened this case. Like, if we had gone just straight to accuse Mr. Angel. It's kind of a weird restaurant. They've got skulls and guns by every table. Guns and skulls, skulls and guns. Oh, phone. Out of order, yep. Just as he said. Not a liar. Alright, nothing really else in this place I don't think of interest, so we'll go to the fruit market next episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you're enjoying this case. It seems like a good one. Hopefully we can pin a little bit more on the true killer of these poor women. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a fantastic day. Drink some hot chocolate. Hit that like button if you'd be so kind. And until next time, we will see you all later.